Welcome! This video provides an in-depth look at how the newly launched Stanford Libraries Viewer, released on July 1, 2019, now provides enhanced support for full-text search. Stanford Libraries currently supports full-text search for qualifying items without the need for additional customization. Search is supported in two ways search within, and search across. For search within, this is the ability to search within any text search enabled item, anywhere you see the viewer, in a Spotlight at Stanford exhibit, in SearchWorks, or on a persistent URL page. For search across, this is the ability to search across all items in a single Spotlight at Stanford exhibit. For Search Within, let's look at the viewer on the Perl page for a digitized book in the Stanford Digital Repository. Click on the sidebar toggle icon to enable display of the left-hand sidebar. Next, click the search icon. Enter a search term in the space provided, and click the search icon to execute the search. You'll see the total number of search results listed. The first result is highlighted with a yellow indicator in the left-hand sidebar, and you'll see the first result also highlighted in a yellow box on the appropriate page of text in the viewer. The other results on the same page are highlighted in blue. As you scroll through the search results in the left-hand sidebar, the result you select will be highlighted in yellow. If there is surrounding context for a search result, you will see more displayed, which you can select to expand. Note that you can also click on the Next and Previous buttons to navigate one result at a time, if you prefer. Next, let's look at a Spotlight at Stanford exhibit in order to explore Search Across in action. In the upper right-hand corner of the exhibit homepage, select Full Text and enter the search term. Look at the first item displayed in the results. By clicking on the link provided, you can search for the search term, in this case salmon, in the document text. You'll see that the search term displays in the viewer as a pre-populated search, starting with the first instance of the search term. Some search results may display the option to see sample matches in the document text by clicking on the arrow provided. If you click on the title of an item in the search result list instead, the search is not pre-populated, but suggested. So you can use the suggested term or enter a different search term. Let's pivot to a different example, as the items used so far in this video contain OCR files as Alto XML, either Alto 2 or Alto 3. Here we're looking at an example on a persistent URL page. To show the one additional file type currently supported, albeit with a limitation. Text, specifically .txt files, can be searched within, but due to the fact that this file type is missing the page coordinates that an OCR file provides, hit highlighting is not possible. You will, however, see the page listed and displayed that contains the search term. There are currently no published exhibits containing text files. However, at least one exhibit is in the planning stages. Searching across for text files and exhibits will work just like searching across for OCR content when this functionality is deployed, except for the absence of hit highlighting. For more information about the requirements for full text search support in the Stanford Libraries environment, please review the specifics outlined in the following document. 
If you have questions or comments, please use the feedback link in the upper right-hand corner of the page, whether you are on a Perl page, in SearchWorks, or in a Spotlight exhibit. Thank you for watching.